Hello everybody, my name is Nightmare, welcome back to Night in the Woods. Uh, in the last part, we were running away from the cultists and we got shot. Uh, we're just, I'm just showing you parts that you haven't seen before, and these are some new conversations, because now this time, instead of lying on the couch and having a conversation with B, uh, I'll be li lying on the couch and having a conversation with Greg. So these are the two new conversations with B and Greg in the apartment. There was some stuff in the last part that was new because they were the reverse roles, but I didn't voice any of them because I didn't realize until halfway through that it was different. Uh, my voice is a little <sighs> borked up right now because I'm feeling a little sick about uh, I'm going to power through this and then, uh, you know, see how many, how many more parts we can get. Is there signal here? Wi-Fi. Uh, okay. I got like... A mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with possible spraying and no single? Eh, out here in the hills. And we're not big enough to get towers. Or something. Huh. Hey. Y yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should, like, maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh, I'd take eh. Well, that's very sweet. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I, I guess so. Not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? Can we all hit the sack? Sure, dude. Hmm. Hey! Everybody, go to bed now! Holy crap. Well, see y'all tomorrow! Hey. Hey, Greg. Did you awake? Yeah. Do, do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then, when you said you were all, went all crazy. But, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, date ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair, something like that. Heh <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it like 24-7. till this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. It was just like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen. Like, I felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And then their lines were just something that someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. It felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just like me alone. And that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside to the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened like the day before that softball game. I mean, I was stand, yeah, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When I, yeah, when Andy stepped up, it was like, he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote 
like nothing in there. I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god. It made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if yeah, I wonder if he like wondered why. What he'd done. He was probably an a-hole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is like understandable, because he like does everything. I mean, to ask you, did the journal stuff actually work? K kinda? Sorta? I mean, it helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all just shapes. Like back in the softball game, I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was like this statue of the founder or something. Really crappy statue, like all rusty metal. And it was just these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude! Finally, I got up the courage to leave. I came home. Everything was fine. Well, I knew everyone wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke into my head in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room, in bed. That's, that's horrible, dude. I, I thought when I came home, I, I just I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. Then all this, and, and, and. Dude, dude, shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need sleep. I'll be here all night. Hmm. I... Hmm. You okay, dude? Where... What... What are you... Hey! Jerk! Why the hell are you out here by yourself? I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. What does that even mean? Since when are your bad dreams in charge of me? Oh, uh, see, I don't even know anymore. Dude. Dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever. You big dumb idiot. And even if this was all somehow in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. I'd still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you. Come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg. <laughs> Thank you. Well, 
He's wounded. Sounds like he went back up to the mine. So this part is all the same. So I will leave this uh, up. I can't open my journal. But uh, I will see you guys in the next part. And I believe, unless there's some other new stuff that's added to the town that I can re-explore and like like that room I tried to show you that was suddenly locked even though it had been open the other like four times I went up there. Uh, stuff like that. But I believe the next part will be the end. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like to leave a like to let me know. And if not, that's alright. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye! Oh,